Hey guys, welcome back to Two Fox One Cat. Today we're gonna make guacamole. <laughs> For this recipe, we need two small avocados, half a tomato, a quarter of red onion, one clove of garlic, salt, black pepper. We don't have fresh coriander, so it's gonna be ground coriander, chili flakes, guacamole mix, the juice of a lime, and some of the zest. Cool, so that's a recipe we usually do in the van. It's great with tortilla chips or just on your wraps or with anything you like. Everybody loves guacamole and it's very fast and very easy. So let's go. So first with an office knife, you're just gonna, just gonna go around, open your avocados. Those are very small. And then remove the... And with the spoon, just get the meat off the shadow. And don't get the black stuff. So from here, just slice it very, what do you say, coarsely, like a... Chunky? Yeah, doesn't matter. Just coarsely, like, coarsely. Chop it coarsely. We open our lime, give it a juice. And if I would have been smart, I would have put the zest before to cut it. But I'm an idiot, so it's all right. You can be an idiot and you can cook and be an idiot. If it works, you'll still make a good guac. Some salt, some pepper, coriander, chili flakes. And some of our quack mix. Okay, and this is gonna rest for like five minutes. We're just gonna leave it aside. Meanwhile, we're gonna chop our onion, chop our garlic, and chop our tomato. Okay, Charlotte already chopped some onions from yesterday, but we didn't use it all, so I'm just gonna chop it a bit thin thinner. You really put as much as you like. It's there's no, there's no rules for that. There's not one way to do guac. Tomato. Just slice it. Better have a good knife. Remove the, the thingy. And then same, you try to get it really thin. Well, I like it thin. If you like it chunky, do it chunky. Tomato in. So meanwhile, the salt and the lemon is cooking the avocado and it's staying together with the, the spices. So it's kind of cooking in there. Meanwhile, we are doing the last chop, which makes you save a lot of time. Garlic, you cut the bottom, you press it. And bam, chop the garlic. Chop the garlic. If you have a press a garlic thingy, how do you call it? Garlic press. Garlic press. You're free to use your garlic press. Do whatever you want with your garlic. Okay, so now everything's uh, prepared. Cool, so we chopped everything. Everything's in there. Now we're gonna give a mix with the fork this time and trying to mash a bit all that if the avocado is a bit too chunkier you could go again with your knife like this you go really like a what do you say like, it's, if it's chaotic it's all right okay from now we can put the olive oil this is lemon olive oil from verdon super nice olive oil how much i don't know as much as you want and now you can start to mush it. It's mixed, we're just gonna taste it and uh, um, check on all the spices and everything. Okay, so more salt. More coriander. And pepper. And a bit more of that as well. The guacamole mix. So you eat another mix, another mush. Haha! 
it took like what six seven minutes and now we are gonna do uh, some wraps we put some nice uh, wraps uh, I hope you enjoyed the recipe guys tell us how you like your guacamole um, and tell us if you're making guacamole in your van or at home often if you like our recipe and you want to check more of us uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you won't miss out the next recipes and i see you next time bye